I'll guide you through how you can inspect Element on your iPhone. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get into this. The first thing that you need to do is go and open up an app called Shortcuts. Now by default, this app should be on your phone and look something like this. You may have gone and deleted it. And if you have, just go and open up the App Store and then you can go and search for the app and download it again. So then once you've got it, go and click on the Shortcuts app. And what we can do is go and create a new shortcut, which will then go and allow us to go and start inspect elementing pages. So go to the bottom left of the Shortcuts app and tap on Shortcuts, and then go to the top right and go and tap on the plus button, which is basically Create. And then what you first need to do is go and tap on Add Action. And you need to tap on the search box at the top and then type in Share, just like this. And under Sharing, you need to go and click on Share. Then go and tap on Input and you need to click on it, shortcut input, and then it will say receive images and 18 more, or yours may be different, just click there. And what you want to do is go and tap on clear like this, and then what you need to do is go down to web and enable Safari web pages like this, and then go and tap on done in the top right. And then where it says input from nowhere, tap there, and you need to go and toggle on show in share sheet like this, and then you can go to the top right and press done. Then what you can do is go and delete this second one here, which is share shortcut input, just click off that. And then where it says input from nowhere, click there and you need to toggle on show in share sheet, just like that. And then what you need to do is go down and click on add action again, then go to the top and tap on the search box and type in Java. And you should then see this option here for run JavaScript on web page. Tap there. And then as you can see, we go and see this sort of bit of JavaScript here. Select in the box and what you need to do is go and just delete it all, okay? We don't need any of this. We've got our own JavaScript. So in the description of this video, I'm going to go and put a link to like a notepad or something like that, which you can go and click on. And you need to go and copy the JavaScript I've gone and typed out. It should look something like this. And you want to go and copy it all like that just by holding on it, then tap on select all and then tap on copy. And then you can come back to the shortcuts app and tap here in the JavaScript box and paste it in. Then you can go and press on done in the bottom right and then done in the top right like this. And there we go. So now let's open up Safari like this and go to a web page. And now what I'm going to do is go and make sure I can see the bottom bar and tap on that share button in the middle. And then what you can do is scroll down. And as you can see, we then have the option for inspect element and it'll then say it will then run. And it then says, do you want to allow inspect element to access? Just press allow, it's fine. And it will then get a tick. And then what you can do is close off the share um, page by clicking the cross in the top right. And then anywhere I click, I can then go and edit as long as it's text and not an image, of course. So there we go. I can now go and edit this, for example, and I could go and delete it, type in guide realm. I can literally do anything I want uh, and then I can press done and it's then going to go and stay like that. Of course, when you go and refresh the page, it's then going to go and be put back because you're just editing it on your side, not the actual server side. But that's it, guys. That is how you can inspect element on an iPhone. If you found this useful, then please consider leaving a like. Peace.